Good morning, everyone. Um, today's a very different kind of video. As you can see, we're vertical. I know we need to go sideways. I know the rules, guys. You know the rules, and so do I. Um, but on a more serious note, um, actually on my way to Gret's funeral, Gret the liar. Uh, most of you by now have probably heard the news about Gret's passing, but if you haven't, um, up to speed. Uh, Gret Collier last week was very tragically shot in his home by an individual. Single incident didn't harm any of his household, uh, just him. Uh, the suspect was arrested uh, five days later. Um, today is his funeral, and I'm driving up to Northern Virginia to his uh, memorial service. It's been a very, very tough week for me. Um, past six days, it, it's been extremely tough. Um, well, 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 while we drive some, and then when we get parts, I'll turn the camera the correct way, and I'll go over Greg's legacy with my channel and um, who I am as a person because of Greg. Because Greg was such an impactful person in my life. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll just film as we go. I haven't decided. That I'm just a bunch of emotions this past whole week. It's just a lot of that. So, um, as I said seven years ago when I first um, met Brett, which is ironically this month, July 2022, marks exactly seven years since I first met Brett. Isn't that crazy? Seven years to the day, and I'm going, or not to the day, but to the month, I'm going to his funeral. Unbelievable. We're going to drive up some more, and maybe we'll uh, cut back in a little bit later. Well, I've hit traffic because there's an accident way up ahead, so... While we're slowed down a little bit, I want to tell you about the legacy of Gret Clyer in this channel. I met Gret Clyer in late 2014. Kevin McCurry posted a video on his personal Facebook about Gret Clyer's video, What It's Like to Live in Africa, which is a great video, by the way. It's still up, it's unlisted, but you can find it on the Donor C channel. Hopefully, they keep it up. Um, they should. And at that point, I was in missions training, and I saw that, and it was just like, wow, this is cool. This is what I want to do. So it was just like something clicked when I saw that. It's a simple vlog, day in life. It's nothing like, like over-edited. Well, it is kind of edited, because that was how vlogs were back then. But anyway, what, what I'm saying is like, it, it's not like a Casey Neistat vlog. It's very basic. But again, it sparked an idea in me that said, huh, I want to do that. I want to vlog when I, whenever I go overseas. And I, I actually, funny enough, how I reached out to Gret was I finally found a Facebook comment that he replied to. And so I actually slid in his DMs and I said, hey, Gret, I really like your stuff. I'm in missions training, so I think that's cool how uh, you're over there right now. I'm in training. He's like, that's great. And he was very kind to me and our DMs. Well, I found out he was from Northern Virginia. And I thought it was so cool. Wow, I meet this guy in Malawi. And he's from Northern Virginia. It just blew my mind how it's like the internet just did that. That's that's that was just blew my mind. So that kind of set the ground basis for what I wanted this channel to be originally. I originally wanted yours truly Chris to be a vlog channel, me being a missionary. And traveling around the world. I started it actually July 4th, 2015, so uh, seven years ago. Gret, meanwhile, had come over to the United States for a short time and he was speaking at a church. Uh, this was July 15th, this is like July 19th, 2015. And I said, Well, I want to go and like see Gret. Wouldn't it be cool just to go? see him speak at church, hear, hear what he's up to, and then talk to him afterwards, and 
you know, catch up with him, get to know him some. So, we're driving, well, I'm driving my previous car up there, and 20 minutes away from the church he's speaking at, my car breaks down. Hence that first video, the Quest Meet Greg Glyer, which is a very cringy video, but um, I still keep it up because there, there's a lot of significance to that. Um, long story short, um, Grut was able to meet up with me in the afternoon, and we ended up getting pizza together. Uh, he only had an hour between commitments, but it was just really nice to actually get to know him some, and you could tell just how passionate Gret was about what he was doing um, with Malawi. And he, back then, it was homes, building uh, houses for widows and orphans. Uh, to, uh, no, don't don't see hadn't been started yet. That was the next year. Um, was he on Village Fridays? No, he hadn't started Village Fridays either. So this is pre all of that. So he finally goes back over and he starts uh, the Village Friday series. And I remember where I was when that video uploaded where he announced it. I was up in my old place in one of the, one of the hallways and I just dropped everything and watched that. And I was just amazed that they were gonna fundraise hundred over a hundred thousand dollars to build this school in Malawi. It was just it really blew me away. And um, fast forward to 2018 when the vlog when I saw Rick Astley, well the next day I met up with Brett and I was able to uh, we, we first went to um, the, the old place he used to work at, the Barnes Noble store and we grabbed a coffee there and then we got lunch at Chipotle, and it was just really cool hanging out with him, catching up with him. When we were get coffee, he had just gotten engaged the week before to his wife Heather, and uh, he had said to me, "Yeah, uh, I that was the most nervous I'd ever been in my life was uh, proposing to his wife." So I, I, I think that was just really cool how that had just happened and. I, I talked to him right there, and I said, Brett, well, if you need anyone, um, I have three years' experience uh, doing finances for, missions or, for a mission organization. And, again, this is 2018. It was still very small, but growing, but still small. And he said, all right, uh, I'll keep that in mind. So, uh, 2019 comes around, and he launches his book, If the Poor Were Next Door. And I was able to go to that book launch up in Northern Virginia. Funny enough, at that same church that um, he spoke at uh, back in 2015. And it was a great time just being there, meeting his board members, um, just some other folks that have been close to him, investors, and so many people that had been in Gret's life the past several years that really helped grow Donorsey from the ground up because he started that from scratch basically took his life savings and started uh, donor C he had to uh, fundraise hundred twenty thousand dollars to get it really started he had to go to investors um, and there, there's several podcasts the inner two podcasts where he talks about it um, Tom Woods I haven't listened I listened to Tom Woods recently about uh, Gret's passing, but I haven't listened to apparently he's, I remember uh, Josh talking about him he had been on several episodes of Tom Wood's show uh, at one point so, anyway uh, fast forward to now um, earlier this year, I had the opportunity and you guys don't know this because I haven't really posted it anywhere but I, I'll make a video I have all the footage, but Again, you know how far behind I am on making these things. Um, so I made a vlog of me going to East Africa. Yes, you heard correct. I went to East Africa earlier this year. And one of the big reasons I went was because I remember Brett and all the videos saying how nice the people were and how he really enjoyed being over there. And when I went over there, it was just incredible just to meet the people over there and get to know their life and, 
yeah, just, it was a grand old time, and part of that was because of Gret, um, had influence in that. So, I'll, I'll release a vlog soon-ish, I don't know when, I, I need to, but, yes, that is correct. And then, through that trip, I actually went through Dubai, and we had a 13-hour layover, and we were able to go to the World's Fair, we had a tallest building, Burj Khalifa. I, I posted a couple pictures on my Instagram with uh, Dubai, but yes, I went to East Africa hey buddy, because Brett Glyer kind of inspired me. And again, the opportunity came up, and I said, well, I'm going to take it. You know, uh, spring, break, spring break group from uh, Richmond was going, and they personally invited me. So, um, thank you, Gret. Uh, I can't wait to meet some of the folks that I probably saw in 2019. You know, I, it, it's going to be a very emotional day. That's why I'm doing this now. So, I thought about doing it later, but I was like, no, I need to get this out now because I don't know. How I'm gonna be the rest of the day. I know we're not positioned correctly, but there's there's not really any other way I can really do this. So that is the legacy of Brett Glyer on this channel. Basically, this channel wouldn't exist without him. And also another thing, when I met Brett Glyer in 2015, he was the first internet friend that I had met in real life. Yes, that is correct. Way before the VidCons, way before the Blimey Cons, Brett Clyer will always hold that position as the first internet friend I met in real life. And he made a, such an impression on me. It was like, all right, these people off the internet aren't as crazy as people like my parents would say. They, they'd be telling me, oh, don't talk to anyone on the internet. You don't know who they are. To an extent, yeah, follow that advice. But, you know, you need to be careful with who you talk to. But as well as there are good people. And the goal is to find good people in good circles. And that's my advice to folks out there who make friends on the internet. Is find good circles of people and stick with them. And I've stuck to that advice for several years. And for the most part, it's worked out. Anyway, folks, I'm going to continue driving. Uh, we still got... Uh, five minutes to go until we reach uh, the church where the service is going to be at. I just finished Gret's funeral. That was one of the most emotional services I've ever been in. He is missed so dearly by so many people. Gret, I love you. I wish we had you back. Now I gotta drive home. There's so much traffic. I may have to go a long way around today. Thank you, Grant. Well, folks, that's gonna do it. Just about everything Grant Glyer related on this channel is over. It's done. Tonight, I had pizza for dinner, too. Uh, I remember the time that Gret and I had pizza uh, back in 2015, this month, seven years ago. The night he passed away, or should I say the day he passed away, uh, when I found out I got Chipotle for dinner, just like we got back in 2018. Things, Little things like that mean significantly to me. So, everyone, thank y'all uh, for your prayers for the family. Uh, I'll put a link down in the description to help the family, but also to contribute to uh, Gret's project to help eliminate extreme poverty, which he was very close to uh, launching. Uh, link down in the description. Go check it out and give a little bit. Even a tiny little bit will make the biggest difference. And Donor C will really appreciate it. 
Anyway, guys, take care.